About five tons of objects made up of interstellar dust hits the Earth's atmosphere at high velocity on a daily basis. Most of them are rather small and so they burn up in the atmosphere without a trace. As a rule, those that make it to the surface fall in areas with either low population or no population at all. In short, the good news is the risk of getting hurt by a falling asteroid is infinitely small. Still, if a considerably larger object were to hit our planet, the consequences would be much more serious. There were precedents in the history of our Earth, and there is no guarantee it will not happen again. Over a thousand celestial bodies are posing a potential threat today. So what would happen if a really large asteroid were to collide with us? Cosmo. The first in outer space. But before we take a look at this scenario, I'd like to remind you of our channel in Telegram. If you haven't seen it yet, do check it out. There is a lot of exciting stuff about space and science. The link is in this video's description. And now back to the story. Large objects do approach our planet now and then. For example, on the 14th of November 2020, asteroid 2020 VT4 with a diameter measuring about 10 meters passed our Earth at a distance of 383 kilometers from the surface. That is below the International Space Station and most satellites. Even though known potential threats are monitored by scientists at all times, the problem is that most asteroids are rather dark objects whose dimensions are quite modest by space standards, which makes them hard to detect. However, an explosion caused by an impact of a celestial body with a diameter of just 10 meters would be tantamount to the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. It may not leave any radioactive waste, but a blast this powerful would wipe a little town right off the face of the Earth. An asteroid with a diameter measuring 50 meters, that is, as big as a modern multi-story building, would unleash a power of several dozen kilotons on impact, which would be enough to raise an entire city almost to the ground. If an asteroid this large were to fall into an ocean, it would cause a tsunami reaching up to 10 meters, which would wreak destruction all the way it went, traveling for hundreds and thousands of kilometers from the site of its impact. Were this asteroid's diameter to measure a kilometer or so, it would cause mass destruction throughout an entire continent. The force of the explosion on impact could reach as much as thousands of megatons and TNT equivalent, and its consequences would haunt the planet for many years to come. It is highly likely that the human civilization would not survive a calamity of this scale, nor would other living creatures, with the only exception of protozoans and exceptionally enduring organisms. Mass extinction events did take place in the history of our Earth, the most notorious of them, Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction Event, about 66 million years ago. It is posited that dinosaurs and a number of other species died out as a result of it. As for the most large-scale mass extinction event, it took place approximately 251 million years ago, coming in between the Permian and the Triassic periods. Based on results of paleontological diggings, it was estimated that about 90% of sea species and 70% land species died out as a result. One of the things that caused both of these dramatic calamities is believed to be the fall of a large asteroid. Today, the number of potentially dangerous objects is estimated to be in the region of 1.5 to 2,000, although this number may reach 4 to 6,000 according to the data provided by the WISE telescope. Since they're so small and dark, these celestial objects are rather hard to spot. For example, the size of the asteroid dubbed 2008 DC3, which burned up in the atmosphere just above Sudan in 2008, was anything from 2 to 5 meters. It was spotted just 20 hours before it would have impacted the Earth. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. There is a special rating scale known as the Palermo Scale. It is a generalized scale reflecting potential impact risk posed by this or that celestial body, which takes into account the body's kinetic energy and the probability of hitting the Earth. The higher the value, the bigger the threat to our planet. If a body's Palermo scale value is below minus 2, this body is practically safe. Asteroids with values between minus 2 and 0 do not pose any immediate threat, but require monitoring at all times. As for objects with a value above zero, they are realistically dangerous for the Earth. 
At this point, there isn't a single celestial object out there with a positive Palermo scale value, and there are only two asteroids in the yellow alert zone, that is their value is between minus 2 and 0. Both of them fall into the category of the Apollo asteroids, celestial bodies whose perihelion lies closer to the Sun than the Earth's aphelion, and whose orbital semi-major axis is bigger than that of the Earth. Thus, these objects cross our planet's orbit from the outside. The Bennu asteroid, designation 1999 RQ36, with a potential hazard index value minus 1.69, poses a smaller threat of the two. In the year 2135, it will find itself just 300,000 kilometers away from the Earth, which is slightly closer to us than the Moon. Bennu's average diameter measures approximately 500 meters, and the asteroid's mass is anything between 60 to 78 million tons. If it were to collide with our Earth, the resulting explosion would be tantamount to about a thousand megatons and TNT equivalent, which would almost certainly cause major catastrophic disasters all over the planet. In 2016, NASA launched the OSIRIS-REx probe to Bennu in order to obtain samples of the minerals making up the asteroid. The probe is scheduled to get back to the Earth in 2023. The more hazardous of the two asteroids is 1950DA, with a Palermo scale value minus 1.42. Today, it has the highest probability of hitting our Earth. Its diameter measures about 1.3 kilometers, and its mass can be anything from 2 to 4 billion tons. 1950DA's orbit is elongated and elliptical, and it crosses the orbits of our Earth and Mars. 1950DA's closest approach to the Earth is expected in 2035, but a hazardous approach will take place only as late as on the 16th of March 2880. What would await us if the asteroid did impact the Earth? Let's assume no preventive measures have been successful to deflect this body and the disaster is inevitable. An enormous chunk of rock with a diameter almost one and a half kilometers and a mass that could be two to four billion tons heading towards the Earth at a speed of about 14 kilometers per second. This would be the speed of 1950 DA at the moment it hit the Earth if an impact event did occur, as estimated by NASA. Of course, part of the matter making up 1950 DA would burn up and disperse in the atmosphere as the asteroid slowed down and the main body would be likely to break up into several large rocks and a great number of small bits. Depending on their size, each of them would cause an explosion of not less than 20 kilotons on impact with the Earth's crust. That's the average power of a modern nuclear bomb with a comparatively modest charge. The overall power of the explosions would most likely be over one and a half thousand megatons, with a bombarded area larger than that of Europe. All constructions within the radius of 300 to 500 kilometers would be razed to the ground, and even reinforced underground bunkers wouldn't guarantee enough safety. The energy of the shock wave would allow it to sweep around the Earth several times while gradually slowing down and bringing more destruction on its way with every lap. If the asteroid were to fall into an ocean, a giant tsunami would rise 40 meters or higher. Tsunamis normally travel for thousands of kilometers, and as they go, their destructive forces practically don't diminish. Therefore, coastal areas of the continents lying near the site of the impact would be submerged in water, with cities and villages effectively wiped out. Multiple impacts of bits of rock would raise tons of dust in the atmosphere. Winds would scatter these dense clouds all over the sky, and most sunlight would not reach the planet, which would cause a sharp temperature fall. This phenomenon is known as nuclear winter. It is highly probable that an impact of this scale would affect not only the crust, but the mantle as well. The shock wave would wake up volcanoes, and they would erupt all over the planet, which in its turn would cause the second wave of tsunamis and earthquakes. Tons of ash released in the atmosphere would contribute to further temperature drops. There is quite a popular belief that after an asteroid hit the Earth, it would affect its orbit or orbital period. This would lead to dramatic climate changes and even render the planet completely incapable of sustaining life. However, according to some estimates, an impact of even the biggest asteroid in the solar system would not be enough to do so. 
An object realistically able to noticeably change the Earth's orbit should be as big as the Moon or Pluto at the very least. Be it as it may, if it were to happen, the consequences of an impact of this scale would be much graver than just a change of orbit or orbital period. The potential impact risk of 1950 DAs hitting our Earth is just 0.012%. There is no room for complacency though, as the impact probability may rise following a change of the asteroid's orbit as a result of collisions with other celestial objects that may well take place. For a long while it was believed that the humanity hadn't advanced enough to prevent any hazards of asteroid falls. All we could do was just observe potentially hazardous objects. Actually doing something about them like destroying an asteroid or changing its orbit, was confined to science fiction films and books. However, science doesn't stand still. Even in 2004, when a threat posed by Apophis was considered grave enough, it was proposed to cover its surface with light-reflecting film. This way, sunlight pressure would change the asteroid's orbit. Other suggestions included nuclear bombings, as well as special power thrusters powerful enough to shift orbits of celestial bodies. In 2018, NASA, in collaboration with SpaceX, approved the DART program, whose aim is to deflect the asteroid's trajectory by making it collide with an artificial spacecraft. The binary near-Earth asteroid Didymos, made up of two components with diameters measuring 800 and 150 meters, is the target for the DART demonstration. The launch of the spacecraft is planned for 2021. Celestial bodies in the solar system may be closely monitored, but there is always a risk of some body previously unknown to us arriving from the galaxy's outskirts and heading towards the Earth. Orbital periods of some comets and asteroids around the Earth may last hundreds and even thousands of years, and their small sizes and dark surfaces render these potentially dangerous visitors barely detectable. Still, the odds of such a disaster as an impact event are extremely small. And in fact, there are many more dangers that may befall the human race on our own planet.